Hello, this video is going to cover the Open Roads Designer Survey Training Section 200 Geographic Coordinate Systems. We're going to step through working on Exercise 1, Establishing the GCS for Projects Mapped to Grid. So we're going to use grid coordinates and set up our seed files for our project. So I'm logged into the connection client, and now I'm going to open ProjectWise. Um, so by default, there's not a um, desktop shortcut, so I'm just going to search in my search bar for ProjectWise Explorer and go ahead and open the ProjectWise Explorer desktop application. Uh, for training purposes, I'm going to open our uh, Ohio DOT training testing data source, and I'm going to browse into my training folder. So I work in central office, so I'm under the underbar D06 folder, uh, survey training, and uh, we're going to be working in the 96213 work set. So browsing into this folder, uh, we're going to look inside our 990 workset standards, and we're going to look at take a look at the seed files that we have. So by default, once a workset's created, there's going to be four seed files that are copied into that that folder, and we need to assign a coordinate system uh, if it wasn't set during the the workset creation. So I'm going to go into the the, the 2D design file seed, and uh, we're going to edit that coordinate system. So we're going to check it out of ProjectWise, open it up, and, and look at our geographic coordinate system. <clears throat> it's best practice to change the coordinate system for all four seed files uh, in the project. So now that my seed file is open, I'm going to go ahead and change my workflow from the survey tab to the drawing tab uh, workflow. Uh, another way I can do is I can use the search ribbon to find where the geographic coordinate systems or uh, tools located throughout Open Roads Designer. But I know off the top of my head that inside the drawing tab, under the inside the drawing workflow under the utilities tab, there's the geographic section which has our coordinate system uh, button there. Or we could go ahead and use the search functionality and find our coordinate system and all the locations that it's under. So it's also in the geotech and reality modeling workflows. So opening this tool, um, when this work set was created, there was not a coordinate system associated with this file. So we're going to browse in the library and select our coordinate system. So using uh, the From Library button, we're going to go ahead and select our geographic coordinate system. Um, so ODOT by, uh, in our standards has some favorites set uh, for Ohio North Zone and Ohio South Zone. So this project is in uh, Ohio North, so we're going to go ahead and select the Ohio North Zone uh, from our favorites. And I'm going to expand this out so we can see our different options. So I'm going to select our Ohio North Zone uh, U.S. Survey Feet in our NAT 83 2011 EPIC. And we're going to go ahead and just click OK, and that's going to assign our seed file to that coordinate system. And we can go ahead and hit uh, the Save button or uh, File Save, and then we can go ahead and close out of this uh, seed file. And in doing so, since we're in ProjectWise, it's going to ask us to check that, doc that um, design file in. And so we're going to go ahead and check it in since we did make changes to that. So it's going to update from our working directory and pushing that back into ProjectWise. And we're going to go ahead through and do that for each of the seeds inside the file. <clears throat> 